Okay. Hi, Kim and Carl here from Foster Hill Farm. We have Cornelia with us today. And uh, we've had a lot of questions about how to tie the donkeys. So I'm gonna go over a horseman's safety knot so that everyone's tying their donkeys uh, in a safe way. First of all, I wanna talk about this halter, how it fits, because it's all part of tying them up correctly. These halters we get from Dale and Joe Hayworth at Half Ass Acres. And they're nice because they have an adjustment behind the ear and they have one under the chin. We always unbuckle right here so that we're not bending the donkey's ears. But you see, they fit fairly snugly. You want that. You don't want a halter that's hanging down because if they paw or go for a fly, they can get their foot caught right in the halter. So we're going to talk about tying to a fence post. When you're picking the donkey's feet, when you're working on them, you want them tied up to something very sturdy. We have a lot of students here. And that's ladies' man. Hold on one sec. Okay, so you want to tie to a sturdy fence post. Uh, it's a little tricky because we have the wire here, but you want to tie about eye level with the, with the donkey's eye. If you tie too low, and too long, they can get their foot across it, and then if they were to get in a twist and back up or um, get nervous, they can get a rope burn on the back of their pastern right there. So you want to tie them up kind of high. So I'm going to just feed this through. The trick to doing this horseman's knot is you do it the same way every time until you learn it, and then you can do it with your eyes closed. So we're going in from the right, coming out from the left, and you see it's always a really sturdy lead rope too. Invest in nice quality lead ropes with big brass snaps because the last thing you want is for the lead rope to snap and then the donkey learns that it can escape from being tied. They need to know that they have to stand. You see how short this is too. I don't have a lot of extra play in it. Now what you do is cross over underneath. I take my left hand and flip it backwards so the butt of the knot, the butt of the rope is on the outside of the knot. She really wants that grass and then bring it up through and then pull on one side, the side that's closest to the knot, and you snug it up. And that's a good horseman's knot right there. She can't really reach the grass even though she wants to. Now sometimes they get pretty smart and first of all, let me show you. To release this, if you did get in a um, situation where you wanted to release it, all you do is pull this and it releases quickly. The donkeys sometimes learn that too. So what I'll do if I'm working on them sometimes or have to walk away for a moment is I just put the rope through the end of it and that way uh, if the donkey pulls, it's not gonna release, but it's easy for you to just pull it and release it again. So let's go over that one more time. Come in from the right, around to the left. Underneath, this is the key. Flipping it like this and then underneath and pull it snug. And that's the horseman's knot. Push it back and she should be good there. Okay.